Okay, so this is uh, 303 British with Stable 6.5. I used uh, Federal Primers, PPU Brass, and uh, this is actually trying to refine our load, see what might be working better. And well, here, oh, phone giving me a message 44.5, and as you can see, it's pretty open. 44.8 as you can see we're going up in 0.3 grain increments and it actually kind of opened up a bit and has a little bit more verticality however when we go up to 45.1 suddenly it tightens up again and 45 is what we tested uh, we went up by our full grain increments and 45 did the best this is quite similar I'll try to include a clip of before so you can see how it's similar and then as we go up we see that the groups actually start to open up again, uh, open up again, but with uh, a horizontal kind of stringing. I would like to say that that's a flyer, but I highly doubt it because when we go over to the highest charge I have today, and that accidentally went through a bullet hole, uh, we see here two overlapping, third one over here. It's it just basically opened up just a little bit, but. Yeah, so looks like 45 grains. I mean, I'd like to tune it just a little bit more, but 0.3 is uh is it the most precise? No. But that's still pretty precise. So at this point I think I'd just be wasting bullets and wasting powder. So we weren't able to get it to overlap like with 3031. But, you know, for <laughs> A rifle that's over a hundred years old like I'm still not complaining seriously